This is Artifacts of Mars. Uh, in the town of Westminster, Massachusetts, uh, is trying to enact a town-wide ban on all tobacco uh, sales and tobacco products, different things. And they had town media and people went nuts. So that only a handful of people were able to speak on a proposal to make a tiny ma Massachusetts town of Westminster the first in the nation to ban all sales of tobacco products when booze and shouts from the crowd shut down the public hearing Wednesday night. But people are angry, and rightfully so. I'm hoping this is just a mental disorder of liberalism. But basically, these are arrogant SOBs who want to run your lives. And people got to wake up. Uh, the, town, the people who run that town in Westminster have to be removed from office. Now, I am a non-smoker. I have no love at all of tobacco. Let's get that straight. I think it is a nasty thing. But people have the right to choose their own uh, lifestyle. And these arrogant SOBs, like when people are running Westminster, don't have the right to run your lives for you. Okay, amid shouts of America and freedom now, Board of Health Chairwoman Andrea Crete gaveled the hearing to a close just 25 minutes into it instead of taking comments. Which means uh, she didn't want to hear that people were angry. Now, I said before, folks, that Many of our cities and towns are being run by people who are not Americans. I stand by that. I don't know what's going on here. I've said that before. Even Rush Limbaugh, who's not a conspiracy theorist, has said that we've been taken over in the coup. When he says something like that, you have real reason to worry. He's the last one to be called a conspiracy theorist. Joyce McGuire, Westminster resident and non-smoker who opposes the ban, also was disappointed the hearing ended early. I think people are really angry because they feel that this is being shoved down their throat, throats, she said. And with a proposal drawing national media attention, she added, "We, I think we all feel really embarrassed. I don't think this is the way our town is. Well, I got news for you. Yeah, it is. The decision rests solely with the board, which says it is fed up with bubblegum flavored cigars, electronic cigarettes, and other products that appear to young people, appeal to young people. Board members say the easiest course of action is to enact a total ban on all sales within town lines. One supporter, non smoker, Vicki Tobin, said earlier she'd like to keep cigarettes out of sight and out of mind of her three young boys. So don't let them have anything to do with it. I just think this is a great step in a positive way to promote a healthy town, healthy lifestyle, she said. Then there's a shopkeeper, Brian Vincent who sells $100,000 worth a year. So he's collected at least 900 signatures on a petition against the ban. Said that smokers will make their purchases elsewhere and probably buy their gas and groceries there as well. Well, duh. This is pro prohibition. Uh, and eventually it'll uh, work its way into the U.S. Constitution. This is only one small town, but 
you know, I remember my history right in the Carrie Nation was a religious fanatic, went around smashing, uh, what, bars or something with an axe. I'd have to look her up, but, uh, this is how it gets started. Eventually, they want to uh, enact a countrywide ban. That's called Prohibition. It's not going to work. Back in Prohibition days, you know, we had organized crime we were running these places called speakeasies. And speakeasies were, of course, these places where people went to basically smoke and drink. And Al Capone ran a lot of them. Famous gangster. This is the mental disorder of liberalism at best. I worry it might be uh, something more. Like I said, many of these towns and cities in this country are being run by people who are not Americans. You know, say that one more time. They are not Americans. I don't know what they are. I stand by that statement. I'm not saying they're green-skinned lizards or anything. They're not Americans. And I, you know, I'm just stumped. I don't know what's going on. When Rush Limbaugh notices this stuff, you know, wake up. And, you know, a lot of talk show hosts are saying the same thing. We've been taken over. And a whole bunch of people have seen this. They know what, know what something's going on. The term I keep hearing banding about is invasion of the body snatchers. That's where these plant-based or seed people or something, they come here and they replace the uh, leaders and the indigenous population with these replicants. I never liked the movie, but that's the side of the point. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. And, you know, I, th I think something like that has happened in this country. Our leadership has been replaced. They're not Americans in many cases. I don't know what they are. Uh, I stand by that statement, no matter what. This Board of Health chairwoman, Andrea Crete, she is not an American, in my opinion. Now, the thing for you people in Westminster, I'm going to close this out. The thing for you people to do is drive all these people out of office. Remove them from office. And... You know, take control of your town. Drive all of them out of office. They don't deserve to be in office. So, throw them all out. They may th you may think that they're your friends and neighbors, but there's something horribly wrong. So, remove them from office. You know, that's what you have to do. If you don't do that, then things are just going to keep getting worse. Whenever, you know, some town or city does something like this, drive them out of office. Remove them from office and get some real people in there. I don't know what's going on. Uh, it's crazy. I'm on the facts to Mars. Thanks for watching.